What's up everybody, it's me Blake316 here with a new video for you guys and a lot of people are wondering, not even wondering, they're saying or they're hating, <laughs> why does the Nintendo Switch keep getting all these old Wii U ports? Well, if you own the Wii U, it's kind of simple. Like, it's a really easy response and answer why, you know, the Nintendo Switch is getting all these ports. If you didn't play the Wii U and you know nothing about Nintendo other than too busy hating on them, let me explain. Obviously, the Wii U was not a huge success. It sold maybe 10, 11 million consoles worldwide. It was a failure. With that being said, even though it was a failure, the Wii U had tons of great games. Example. Uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, yes, this was released on the Wii U. Mario Kart 8, yes, this game was released on the Wii U. But some of the ports that were released on the Wii U that did not make it to the Nintendo Switch, such as, I don't know, uh, Hyrule Warriors, which in my opinion, this game is trash, but a lot of people did like it and it sold really well on the Wii U. Uh, Bayonetta 2, an amazing game, sold really well on the Wii U. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, an amazing game sold really well on the Wii U. Guess what? Even though they sold really well on the Wii U, people still not did not have an opportunity to play these games on the Wii U because nobody bought it. So Nintendo's looking at this as an opportunity. You know what? Right now, we're still kind of struggling with getting third-party ports. And let's release these Wii U games that nobody played because no one bought the Wii U. And let's just port them over to Nintendo Switch, which is obviously a way more successful console. And not only are people going to get, you know, new games for the console because, one, they most likely didn't play on the Wii U, so guess what? To them, it's still new, but other to the Nintendo haters, like, oh, those games already released. Uh, why are you releasing them on Nintendo Switch? Meanwhile, the Nintendo haters never even played these games to begin with. Nintendo's just taking this as an opportunity to release more content on the Nintendo Switch, and not only just releasing more content, but they're releasing great games that theoretically nobody actually played. Like, they're not gonna let these games just sit and waste and like, oh man, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze was an awesome game that nobody played. They're going to release it on the Switch and even more people are going to get to play this. I love this game. This game is awesome. And if you think they're just going to stop with these releases, no. I'm guaranteeing you, this is my prediction. It's going to be right. There's actually going to be two more Wii U ports that are eventually going to be released to this Nintendo Switch. And they are Super Smash Brothers. I don't think they're going to release a whole new Smash Brothers. I think they're going to do a Super Smash Brothers like a Plus, like they've been doing. Because I highly doubt, you know, a Nintendo is just going to let uh, all these Amiibos go to waste. And, uh, hey, this is going to be a whole new Amiibo uh, situation craze for Nintendo Switch. They're going to release it. The, the Super Mario Smash Bros. Plus, like with all the characters. Who knows? It's going to be even bigger than it was on the Wii U. And, obviously... They gotta re-release Super Mario Maker. This game is awesome. I have this game on the 3DS. I have this game on the Wii U. And they're definitely, they have to release this game on the Switch. This was an example of another great game that nobody played. If they release this on the Switch, this game will finally reach the potential of, of being just as big as Minecraft. And I truly believe that. You know, I think this game has, has the potential to be bigger than all the games I just showed in this video. This game definitely can't go to waste. They definitely have to re-release this on the Nintendo Switch just so more people can play it. 11 people bought a Wii U console. And guess what? Everyone else who didn't buy that console missed out on all these great games. So that's why Nintendo's pretty much releasing all these old ports. All these old ports on the uh, Nintendo Switch because they gotta. They gotta give people the opportunity to play this greatness, bro. And I know this is not a fanboy talking because guess what? Look behind the video, you see PS4, you see Xbox One. I got, the, I got Switch, I got the Wii U in the hand. I'm just a gamer and I'm just stating the facts. These are great games and you definitely don't wanna miss out on them. So if Nintendo's releasing these games, you should definitely be excited. Like I said, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, Awesome game. Bayonetta 2 was awesome. I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna get the Bayonetta 2 port. Uh, I just don't feel the need to. I'm definitely not getting Hyrule Warriors. I did not like this game, but a lot of people liked it. A lot of people definitely like the Dragon Warriors, and I think the success of Dragon Warriors is why this game is coming out again on the Switch. Um, I'm definitely probably getting this again. I don't care. <laughs> but it's me, Blake doing six. Just letting all the haters know, kind of clarifying for you guys why Nintendo keeps releasing these old games, you know, these ports. It's it's for a reason. And so people keep getting the content for Nintendo Switch. Uh, uh, they're getting not only are they just getting content, but it's great content. Uh, if you don't have a Nintendo Switch now, bro, I don't know what you're waiting on. Just letting you know. But it's me, Blake Doing Six. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Until next time, peace.